Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing the Brother ADS 2500WE high speed document scanner. So at a retail price of $699.99 US uh, this is what I would call a niche product. Now it's not necessarily a bad thing to call it a niche product but you have to understand that almost everybody, almost every business has an MFP or an all-in-one that has a scanner built in. It can do most of what what this product can do. But this product is also 24 pages a minute um, scanning and since it does simultaneous dual-sided scanning if you scan two-sided originals you can get up to 48 images per minute. Now it can also dual, dual side scan ID cards and lots of things that uh, your run-of-the-mill AIO or MFP cannot do. And so a product like this is desirable for say a uh, medical facility or a small law firm who is going to digitize everything, wants to digitize everything, and uh, is, is not ready to invest in a 10 and 20, 30, 50 thousand uh, dollar complete turnkey system uh, with advanced capabilities that they may not know they e even need. In other words, this, this scanner will allow you to send digitized documents just about anywhere you want including the cloud network PC it can do optical character recognition at the at the PC to trans to translate scanned images into text editable documents the, the only thing it's not going to do uh, is be a substitute for a high-speed scanner in an expensive turnkey document management system. So it really is a intended for small and medium businesses that want to digitize their, their documents but are not willing and, and or able to get involved with some high zoot, super expensive, full-blown document management system. So it is a niche product, but there's lots of companies out there uh, that are looking to digitize the documents that can use something like this. So let's let's get going. It's a pretty small box and it's a very compact product. We tested the predecessor to this, the 2500W and the WE is an enhanced version, so we'd expect much of the same uh, features and functions and design as the W product. Now, right on the top, it has instructions for repacking, which is nice. That's one of the reasons we make these videos, is so we can remember how to repack something. So if every product had this, uh, we wouldn't have to make the videos. But we feel that these videos are useful for our testing and analysis and we put them up on on YouTube and hope that somebody gets some use out of them. So on the top of the box we have a cardboard envelope here. It's got a compartment in the back. And it has the carrier sheet for Fragile Originals with instructions on how to use it. There's also a little carrier sheet taped to the back here for ID cards. Uh, there is a taped in here there is a manual in English and Spanish and the CD-ROM as well as uh, 
the one year warranty information. Warranty and information in Spanish. Uh, document asking you to register online. Uh, risk risk free trials available on www.brothercloud.com. Print scan, cloud storage, online meetings, manage information and mobile applications and a quick setup guide inside the box here we have a, a USB cable and we have the power cord and there's no brick in a styrofoam box. It's wrapped in a plastic bag that's taped shut. And there's a, only a couple of things to remove to get it going pieces of tape and this clear film so let's get it up on the desktop and um, continue the setup so let's take a look at the quick setup guide and the um, first step is to unpack the machine and check the components the second step Let's connect the power cord, open the top, pull out the tray, choose your connection type, USB, wireless, wired or wireless, and then it goes into a section for a USB connection which warns that you um, do not install the cable to the PC until you begin the uh, installation process. It will prompt you to plug in the cable and make sure you do it that way. So it's really not much to setting this up. So let's uh, remove whatever packaging there is. And there's a clear piece over the top of this smoked plastic cover. which opens up All right, there's a couple pieces of tape on the top here and the back one on each side a couple pieces in the front keep the tray from popping open during transport okay so when you operate this you open the top here and put your originals in and adjust these guides and if you're doing a card, it has a icon here to do the card in the middle and you would move the guides over. 
there's a gray lever here to pop open the front so you can get out misfeeds. You can also replace these rollers here after you've done a lot of scans. You can clean them and if the cleaning doesn't work you can replace these two units. It's pop, they both pop out. There's a piece of plastic over the top of the touch screen. And there's a back home and cancel keys over here on the on the side. So let's plug it in, turn it on. It's a simple three pump, three prong plug. Most um, AIOs are two prong, so be ready for this. And in the back, there are has a, a Kensington lock port here. Your uh, Cat5 network, wired network port is here. Uh, your USB port is here and your power port is there. Now I don't see an on off switch anywhere. Oh, there's also a USB port on the side here. Right here. I don't see a power switch anywhere, so I guess you just plug it in and let it rip. Alright, let's see what happens. It's plugged in. It turns on automatically when you open the cover. Original output tray pops open, and it'll handle uh, up to legal size originals, and as small as ID cards. And I'm not even sure if it can do business cards. I think it can, but we'll find out later. Most likely, it can do business cards. Let's put it that way. Alright, so beautiful display, beautiful touchscreen display. It's telling me the cover is open. And that went away. And it's uh, scanned to FTP, the network to PC, USB, email server, web. And if you scroll over to the to the left, you have the uh, date and the time. So the documentation told us to set up the network. So we'll click this little wrench and screwdriver icon. Let's go back to network, and I'm going to set up wireless LAN. And there's a TCP IP manual, there's a setup wizard which will let you go through um, step by step and enter your SSID of your router and the password manually. Then there's a WPS, uh, some routers are equipped with a WPS button which allows you to, these, to connect securely without entering your pass, password. And then for uh, machines that have WPS with, with a PIN code, there's a, uh, a setting for that. Then there's a status, the MAC address, reset to default, and a WLAN enable, which is off. So we better turn that on. 
WLAN sense of wireless LAN. It's a little easier to use these arrows here than to scroll with, especially with heavy fingers like I do. WPS with AOSS, here we go. You know, enable LAN, yes, it's already enabled. Start your WPS, I'm going to reach over here and press the WPS button. Okay, it's looking for the router, it's connecting using WPS, connected OK. Alright, so if we go and check the WLAN status, we'll see that its signal strength is strong, our SSID is in there. Everything is all set up, so we're all ready to go uh, for uh, to start testing with this product. And it um, should be a fairly easy test, but there's a lot, to, a lot of software to go through. And we'll be doing that in, a, um, in another video that we'll start doing any, any day now, possibly in a few minutes. So that's it. It was really easy to set up, but like I said, the software itself is going to uh, need a lot of ex explanation because this this machine can do a lot of a lot of different things with a uh, with a scanned and digitized document. So, thanks for watching.